question. My name is Mike Gillum. I'm a product specialist with the Acumatica Construction Edition. And I'm very happy to walk you through today, uh, streamlining workflows and connecting teams utilizing mobile. I've just got a few slides that I'm gonna share with you and we'll jump into the software. So here's a, a question for everyone here. We know it's crucial for field managers to be able to collaborate and share information with teams in the back office from, from a financial perspective, accounting perspective, et cetera. Uh, but the question you need to ask, your, ask yourselves today is, does that data you capture actually flow to your back office software? Uh, giving everybody, all of the folks involved on a project, which there could be dozens of, or perhaps hundreds of, depending on the size of your company, is everyone getting that real-time information, that one source of truth? When data is captured out in the field, is it updating your ERP backend software automatically without having to do any double data entry? And that's what we're gonna talk about today and show you the importance of. So why the connected cloud, right? If you look at the, the graphic where we have on the screen here, we're showing all of the pieces of a connected cloud and what that impacts. So if you look at the middle of that screen there showing the customer in the middle and all of the different pieces of an ERP package and how that um, is able to connect everyone. So the folks on the management side, the field operations side and the back office folks have complete visibility into the customers and your business and into the projects, right? Where are we on a project perspective uh, from a job costing side, whether it's the cost budget or the revenue budget or perhaps change orders or expense claims, project issues, approvals, all the things that happen multiple times a day uh, on a construction project. And we're gonna be walking through that functionality today. The need to connect all those people projects and streamline those processes is an important aspect of a construction business and something that everyone needs to be focused on. And you should be looking at the software available today in the market that is able to provide uh, that capability. So we're gonna walk through, walk through a couple of workflow scenarios today. The first one will be an expense claim, right? The ability to cut down on administrative overhead and help you avoid the frustration of having manual processes where your PMs or field supers, they have to collect all their receipts and they're all crumpled up in their pocket and then they come into the office and turn those in and then you've gotta enter all that information manually. Well, that, can, that can be cut down considerably by using a mobile tool uh, and a cloud ERP product to do that. So we're gonna walk through that process. We're also gonna walk through another scenario with project issues. We know that project issues arise on a job site, uh, perhaps multiple times a day, where your back office team needs to be aware of those project issues. Perhaps a subcontractor didn't show up, or perhaps um, the, the, the subfloor is flooded from a rainstorm. Um, any, any particular project issue that you want to track and keep everybody aware of, having a tool with a mobile app to create those project issues, perhaps track video, create a video or a, or a picture of that issue, and then update everybody in the back office uh, simultaneously is an important piece. And then the third scenario is approvals, right? Approval, uh, transaction approvals. The finance team needs to be updating the project transactions and alert and alerts and notifications can go out to those mobile devices, whether it's a smartphone or an app or a tablet, and automatically update those folks. Hey, this, this purchase order needs to be approved. This expense claim needs to be approved. And then once it's approved, automatically going back and updating the project and the finance team that this has been approved. So we're gonna walk through those scenarios today. So let's go ahead and jump into the software. So I'm gonna click on my browser and you're looking at a project manager's dashboard inside of Acumatica. So I am my project manager's hats on when I log into the software, perhaps this is my homepage and I'm able to see everything pertaining to my project. So I've got a live job site camera here. I've got the active projects, the project tasks that I'm late on. I need to follow up on 47 of those. You can see I'm way behind. I've got ball and court items, the RFIs, the project issues I'm dealing with, everything available to me in a graphical representation, allowing me to keep up to speed with the project. And as you guys are all aware, projects move at a rapid pace and you need to be able to keep track of all those projects and what's happening um, on those projects. So the first thing we wanted to talk about from a scenario perspective was expense claims. So expense claims can be entered 
in the browser version, if I come up here to time and expenses, I have the ability to enter an expense receipt or enter an expense claim or look at all of my expense claims or receipts that I have uh, for any given person or project in the system. But we can also do that from the mobile app. So I'm going to bring up my Air Player here. And once I get that connected with my phone, you'll see the Acumatica mobile app. And let me grab that here. So everyone should now be seeing my phone. And what you're looking at is the app itself. So I'm logged in. Every single user can have their own experience on the app based on their role uh, in the company. You can turn things on or off. You can add additional functionality, really flexible from a security perspective. Everything you see in the browser version behind the scenes here can also be displayed on the mobile device. So the first thing we wanna talk about is expense claims. So you see the first two icons here, I've got expense claims and expense receipts. So now I am, whoops, on my phone there, just saw a picture of my, my lovely 10 year old daughter there. So I've got my expense receipts and my expense claims. If I click on expense receipts, I can get a list of all the receipts that I've created um, out in the field. And now this is me as my personal user. So I've got some expense receipts there for a dinner, for a truck, uh, for gas, for a rental car, for a hotel, for air. And I have the ability to go and claim all of those. You see at the bottom of the screen, I can click claim all, but I can also add a new expense receipt. So if I just hit that plus sign, I have the ability now to add that expense receipt. So I'm just gonna add coffee for the crew. And you see it's pulled up today's date from an expense item perspective. And these are all user definable. I can say this is a business dinner or business lunch or, or project amount. I can come in here and enter the amount and I can pick a project, right? So if I click on projects, there's a list of all the projects that I have in my ERP system. I can go ahead and pick that project. And then when I scroll down a little bit further, I've got more information. I could track this to the sub job, to the cost code level if I wanted to, the location of the project. Um, I can also grab a picture of the receipt. So if I click on files and I, you see here, I can add a file if I've already taken a picture, but if I click take photo, and now I've got my Dunkin' Donuts drive-through receipt here, I just grab a picture of that. I can zoom in, make that picture a little bit clearer, click next. There it is, I can see the amount, I can see the vendor, I click done. It's automatically added that expense receipt uh, photo to the expense receipt that I just made. So now I just click save. It's automatically added that expense receipt to my list. So now I have that added. And now if I go back, I go to my expense claims now. Now I'm gonna look at all of the expense claims that I have in the system. So I've got some project expenses, a truck expense. There's a site visit for a, mar for a project. If I click on project expense two, for example, I can see the expense claim. I can see when it was entered, who it was claimed by. All right? And as I scroll down, I have the ability to enter more details, tax details, approval details. If I click on add receipts, it's gonna pull up and now add, allow me to add that receipt that I just created for that coffee. Go ahead and add that, hit the checkbox. Now you see the claim total automatically was pulled into that expense claim. So now I go ahead and save that. And when I save that back in the office, it's automatically updated. So back in the office, if I move my phone over and let's minimize that, if I click on expense claims here, I'll see that expense claim has automatically been entered. I'll see the receipt has automatically been added. And now if that needs to be approved by somebody on the um, accounts payable or accounts receivable, the controller, whoever's doing that in your business has the ability now, they've been notified that that expense claim is sitting there waiting for them. And if that expense claim needs to be approved by somebody out in the field, if I go back here, we're gonna talk about this a little bit later, but you see the approvals icon there underneath expense receipts, I can go ahead and approve that. I've been notified that I've got an approval waiting for me either on my dashboard that we were just looking at a second ago, right? If I go back to my project manager's dashboard, I'm able to see that I've got 
uh, items that I need to approve that's waiting for me there. And I have links to go and approve those items automatically. So I have all that information available to me uh, on the app as well as in the office. So as expense claims, expense receipts are created, everybody's notified. You have the ability to go ahead and approve those and enter that information automatically in the process. Okay. The other scenario that we wanted to talk about were project issues. So here you notice on my uh, browser version, I've got project issues on this dashboard, but now I'm gonna bring my phone more over to the center of the screen. I can create those project issues on my mobile app. If I click on project issues, I can see the project issues um, that I've created for my projects and I can see the pertinent dates uh, around that. I can see the status right here on the fly, right? If you look and see, I can see this one's open. It's got a medium priority. Uh, this one's been converted to a change request. This one's been closed. So I've already handled that particular project issue, but I can also create one on the fly. So I just click the plus sign for project issue. I can come in here and say uh, electrical, of course, you've got to be able to type and spell properly. Electrical problem on job site. Go ahead and entering that. And I'm just typing that in on my iPhone. I can give it a project ID. I can pick my project, right? There's my whole list of projects that show up there. I can say this is for the Italian restaurant project. What type of issue was it? If I had a, a list there, I can go down to the sub job level. I can say this is coming from the field. It's gonna pick, uh, set up a due date, right? It's set for five days from now. I could change that, come in here and say, nope, this has to be taken care of by tomorrow. It's automatically changed. I can give it a priority from medium to high to low. Again, these are all configurable fields here. And if I wanted to take a picture, just like we saw on the expense receipt, I can take a picture there, add that photo or file to the project issue. And when I click save, it's automatically updated that project issue and coming back into the browser version, if I minimize my phone and we're looking at our project manager's dashboard now, that project issue automatically gets created, right? So now it's updated. The owner has been notified. If I open up that project issue in the browser version, I'm just gonna minimize my phone a little bit more. There's that project issue who it was created by, who it was assigned to, all that information gets notified from the field into the browser version. So whoever needs to be updated or notified on a project issue or any of the items we're talking about here from a scenario perspective, they're automatically notified. So they're gonna get a notification on their smartphone or device, or they're gonna get a notification on the browser. That could be an alert, it could be a notification, it could even be an email that you want to get sent uh, from uh, the Acumatica product into um, your Outlook, for example, or your Google, your Gmail that you're following that information from. So lots of flexibility being able to create items out in the field on a mobile app and then automatically updating all of the players involved on the project in the back office uh, from a financial perspective, accounting perspective, or even C-level executive perspective. Okay, the last thing I wanted to cover from a scenario perspective was approvals. So now I'm back on my iPhone. I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit more. If I click on approvals here, I can see all of the approvals in the system waiting for me. So I've got a couple of expense claims here. There's a project expense from yesterday. If I click on that expense claim, I can see that it's pending approval. If I scroll down a little bit further, I can see who it was claimed by, the date, uh, the, the amount, if it was tagged to a project. And down below at the bottom, you can see if there are any files attached, I'd see those there. I could put this on hold, meaning I don't want to approve it. And if I click that little ellipsis button, I can approve or reject that right from my mobile device. So I don't have to be back in the office. I don't have to be logged into some server. I don't have to be, um, you know, located in a particular place to to approve a transaction. I can do that anytime, anywhere, because I'm utilizing a true cloud solution. Once I click approve there, it's gonna automatically approve that. You just saw the approval date populated to March 25th. And now if I minimize my phone and come back into my software, 
and go to approvals or payables or receivables, I'm going to see that that was automatically approved. And now the back office team, the finance team, everybody's notified that approval has gone through. And if it's impacting a project, the costs would automatically be updated. The budget side, the revenue, the aspect, if it were you know, related to commitments, purchase orders or subcontracts that get approved and need to update the project, everything is happening in real time uh, because of the ability to be in a true cloud solution. So I know I just threw a ton of information at you. I wanna go back to the deck now and display the PowerPoint. So you should be seeing the PowerPoint now. And I wanna talk a little bit more about the Acumatica Construction Edition. So I just showed you some scenarios of what you can do in a true cloud mobile product um, from the app, whether it's a smartphone or tablet, can be a, an Apple device, an Android device, doesn't matter, uh, can be on a Mac or a PC, all that information is available to you, doesn't matter the browser you're on, completely flexible system. And that's what the Acumatica Construction Edition provides. And we do things like financials, job cost accounting, payroll project management, construction app integrations, integrating with other time capturing tools, perhaps estimating tools, other project management tools, part of our connected cloud community. And that's what you get when you're utilizing a modern and mobile cloud platform.